Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel which is What's Up 4.0 This time I will tell you guys about my experience when I went to concert in Malaysia and also outside Malaysia I will share to you guys about my concert experience, my freebies that I got when I went to the concert and also how much I spent and how much I spent my time when I went to the concert. We know that Malaysia have a lot of concert right now in 2023. As we can see in Singapore, they have a lot of international artists that came to their country. Like before this, they have like Stray Kids, they have TXT, they also have Enhypen coming soon and they also like having a lot of Bruno Mars and something like that Western artists came to the country Meanwhile, in Malaysia, we don't have a lot of international artists came to our country Because of what? Because of the international artists need to follow our rules that really strict for them to follow because of some things that we need to censor for our audience at all Okay, so right now, I will share to you guys my experience when I went to the concert latest 80s in Singapore I went all the way to Singapore by bus by public transport which is I went to JBCC and then I took a bus cost me RM2.60 to Singapore and then I went to the train and go to Singapore Indoor Stadium so this is my first concert in my life back in 2019 when our country almost closed because of the COVID so this is the example of the ticket that I got 8 letters tour by Why Don't We this physical ticket cost me like 15 ringgit to print out I bought it for my memories only so when you arrive to the location you will get like some freebies that the fans bought to you guys like this one freebies Freebies for Why Don't You Concert And they have like, a fans project Okay, so when they sing some special song like 8 letter song We need to raise up this one, this handy band To show some support to them Then the next one, I went to Noah Concert And we got this band And we got this band This band can do like this they have light on so we need to wear it like this one and then da -da 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 -da. like Coldplay concert I went to 80s concert and I bought some merchandise like this one this is a mini fan mini fan that I bought for $10 and you can see that they also prepared a bus with 80s name and face on the bus for the fans to take picture on that so it's really attractive and it's all really really nice so the fans can create the memories for 80s concert that they attend I was really really amazed and I enjoy and hype a lot like I jump a lot and I record their face really smooth to make sure that I got to see them clearly okay so when you being a K-pop fan the things that you will bring to the concert one of the things is a photo card photo card because you want to take your bias picture bias which is the most person or the most ideal that you really love in the team okay so for overall I think concert is really get into my life and I also really happy when I went to the concert even though some people say I'm wasting a lot of money to go to a concert where the idols cannot realize who I am but I think it's okay for me as long as I can fulfill my dreams and I will be happy for a moment and for my memories too so for me if you have money and you want to create a lot and big memories in your life just go to the concert you can find money but you cannot repeat the memories Okay, so that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day, guys.